Well, everyone knows that smoking is bad for you, but get this, it may be even worse than you thought. A new study adds at least five diseases and 60,000 deaths a year to the toll taken by tobacco. With more on the study and new information on the best way to quit, Dr. Zorba Pastor joining us today. Thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure to be here. So tell us about this study. This is interesting. The study was a study of studies, and it basically covered about one million people, a huge number of people. And what they did was they looked at the death rates, not just from the common diseases, associated with smoking like lung cancer, heart disease, chronic lung disease, and so on. They looked at other diseases and they found out that about 17% of the deaths from smoking are from things that we didn't even realize were connected to smoking, mm. including prostate cancer, breast cancer, various infections, and kidney failure. And what they found is that there's even more deaths than we thought. Roughly, your chance of dying are two to three times greater if you're a smoker who's ever smoked than a non-smoker. Wow, that's sobering. Yeah, yeah. But what is the best way to quit if you want well, to Well, there are two different ways. We doctors have always said, quit suddenly, take your drugs. If we do a Chantex, bupropion, or so on. There's a new study that shows that about a third of the people will quit slowly versus quickly. If you give them a 90-day period, the study had half the people on Chantex, half the people on a placebo, followed them and discovered that 90 days later, the ones who were on Chantex, about 25% of them quit. That is a huge number. Usually it's only about 10%. And so the theory now is that some people can quit uh, cold turkey, and the others we should say, hey, if you're not going to quit cold turkey, how about taking 90 days to quit? Mm -hmm. And that may work and put them on a medication for 90 days if they're trying to quit, and then keep them on for a another 90 days after they've quit. So. Well, I'm going on 90 days next week yeah. on, on the Chantix. Fantastic. So did your health start improving right away if you quit? Absolutely. Your health starts to improve. It doesn't go back to normal but it goes back to normal over time. The risk of lung cancer takes about 10 years to actually go back to normal. Heart disease, chronic lung disease, the moment you quit, you start to get value. And that's the thing. People say, hey, I've, I've been smoking for 30 or 40 years, I'm not gonna get value. The answer is no. You immediately start to get value, and over time, that value improves. Why is Chantix so successful? Uh, it's just a good drug. You know, we don't actually know why it was specifically designed for this. Bupropion, which is the other drug on Zyban, these drugs double or triple or quadruple the chances of quitting. And frankly, for many people, just going cold turkey without drugs doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And that's why they should talk to their doctor and see whether or not the drug is right for you. Well, it works for me. Oh, it's yeah, definitely yeah. done. But that you get some crazy you. dreams. Oh, yes. <laughs> you do get crazy. Better crazy dreams than smoking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't dreamt about smoking yet, so there you go. Yeah, if you're smoking, check out Chantix. Absolutely. It's a good drug. And anytime, stop, stop as soon as you can. Absolutely. All right, Zorba, thank you. Good to see you, Zorba. Good to see you.